full section a full section uh, cuts the parent view in half so we're going to cut this object right in half so that's what a full section is to do this we're going to go up to uh, our layout tab and I'm actually going to come up here and switch first of all into my layout tab and then once I'm in my layout tab I'm going to come along and go to my layout I mean my layout tab my in my ribbon and I'm going to do the view base command and the view base command I'm going to do from from model space and right now I want to take my top view this is really my front view and I'm gonna come up here and say no I really want the top view there we go that's what I had in mind and I'm gonna place it in its top view position I'll move it right there and then I'm going to exit and I end up with uh, just the base only and actually when I did that I'll undo that okay when I do the view base from model space my type was set to base only okay normally it's at base and projective but I only wanted to do just the base for this one and so I wanted just the top view okay so I place that in in its place and I say okay and there I go now to create a full section I'm going to go up to the create view tab I'm going to go to section I'm going to create full section I'll pick the parent view there's my parent view and it says specify the start point I'm going to pick over here and I'm going to pick across over here and now I can flip by moving my cursor which way I want to see my identifiers my section identifiers I'm going to pick it this way and I'll pick and so when I move my drag my cursor down I am getting my front view so I'm going to position that I'll position it down about right here in the middle Bing. and now I can come along and say what kind of hidden lines do I want I can pick it here or I can go up in the ribbon and I can choose that I want visible and hidden lines and I'll pick on that and also I can choose up in my ribbon bar my scale my visibility edges if I want my tangent edges um, kind of shortened um, I also have it saying it's a full section and my section depth is all the way through meaning I'm seeing all the way through my object I'm not stopping at any certain distance or I'm not slicing it my identifier is listed as A so right now I'm going by default which is the A identifier I am showing hatching I can turn that off um, I can move this later on I can move the views if I needed to I'm gonna say okay boom I've created my full section okay now once I've created the full section um, I could I could use the move option to adjust the location of the view if I needed to but what I want to do is I want to come up here in this upper right hand corner and make an isometric section view I'm gonna do that with the projected command so I'm gonna come up pick projected and it'll say select the parent view I'm gonna work out this front view and then says specify the location I'm gonna just drag it up I'm gonna place it up here and I'm gonna place it bam and then I'm going to exit. So I'm going to enter and I exited it. Now I want to click on it and uh, actually I want to double click on it and so I have the view scale I can move or move the positioning of this if I, if I needed to and if I go with this dot here I can change my hatch patterns uh, I like the hatch patterns that's fine but but when I double click on the box now I come over here and I can go to my hidden lines 
and I can say shaded with visible and hidden lines. And now I'm going to say OK. And now I get it more of a 3D view, uh, which is kind of nice. And in this case, I'm saying, well, do I really, if it's a 3D view, do I really want the hidden lines? So what I can do is double click on the box and come back and say, all right, let's go to hidden lines. I'll go shaded with just visible lines. Then I can exit and bang. That looks more like what someone would want to see when they're building it. So now they have their top view, they have our full section view, and they have a full isometric section view. So remember our full isometric section view must be projected off of our front view. So once again, our full section, we started with the base. And when we started with the base, our type was base only. We threw in the view we wanted as our base, then we came up to section and we did the full section full view and we created our section and then we used the projected and the projected made us our isometric section view.